is a lot more peace and love peace love and power peace to the god shout out to our ancestors and free baby ashe all right so today i'm going to be actually reading women and the ancient matriarchy all right and it's by the grand sheik taj Tariq bay and i'm going to read just straight through it all right women and the ancient matriarchy down through the ages and throughout the ancient halls of learning a timeless phrase has been taught spoken of and written upon walls of stones on tablets of stones upon parchments and papyrus scrolls and upon the hearts and minds of humanity man know thyself a lack of knowledge about the ancient history of civilization and the social orders established upon the earth planet Decentals one of the clear understandings and knowledge of the present day, socioeconomic imbalances, and the veiled social political motives of arrogant rulers, exploiting conquerors, and untoward scholars. However, such vanity and selfishness need not to be the fate of humanity. Truth always waits nearby for discovery rediscovery excuse me there are certain undeniable truths and realities in life that verify the manifestations and functionalities involving the human experience upon the earth planet which cannot be intellectually ignored nor denied reality bears her face with it with instructional instructional excuse me splendor when or if one seeks clarity honesty and true resolution to the myriad intersocial problems now plaguing the world. However, if one attends to remedy the foresaid social ills, one may quickly discover that demonic defenders of the corrupted den are just below the plausible surfaces of feigned appearance of peace-loving society. There will be more than a mild protest or surprise to actual causes of the din than one expected to expose, uncover, or find. Taboo. Taboo is an adjective, excuse me, which applies in general to an edict, a bull, or a public predication, declaring a thing, a subject matter, etc., to be set aside, set apart or consecrated to a special use or purpose, that which is designated. Taboo is restricted to the special use, knowledge, or progratory of God, of a God, a king, a priest, an adept, a chieftain, etc. Taboo subjects and matters are forbidden to general use, restricted and prohibited to a particular class, especially to women or to a particular person or persons. Taboo is held as invoidable, sacred, forbidden, unlawful, etc. And as for public, classified under Index Librorium Prohibitorium and Index Expurgatorius. And I looked that up and it pretty much means like sacred text, sacred readings, uh, ancient sacred things that they don't let the public know. Theologically, intrigue and political subject matters have proven to be especially sensitive educational topics. When one openly converses about non-placating resolutions to these enigmas, a re revisit through the heart and the mind to the ancient insomni governmental principles of our ancient Moabite Moorish mothers and fathers reveals serious violations against law, order, and governmental principles. Observe the contradictions which have contributed greatly to our presently disrupted pursuit of happiness. If one displays even a simulacrum, simulacrum excuse me, of courage and dares to question the presiding religious and political hypocrisy concerning the commonly paraded self-righteous attitudes inequity practices, some people become immediately, arrogantly, and unnecessarily defensive. Such pompousness and vanity can be easily rationalized and understood 
when it comes to revealing truths about Inquisition history or about discussing the ancient superior social status of Asiatic African women in ancient civilization governing the North American territory, the North Gate. One cannot and will not understand or properly analyze the foul social, economic, and political imbalances imposed upon North America's natural people if one has no knowledge of the luxurious inquisition philosophy about the anti-humane psychology and psychic attacks. You hear that beep in the back? Psychic attacks which are the seeds and fertilizers of our present social, spiritual, economic, and political disorders. With glances into the mirrors of the mind, let us travel, if only a little, through the halls of our ancient Moabite Canaanites. When the Moors began to adopt the ancient and alien vague idol god worship system of the Inquisitions from, wait, where am I at? Apologies. When the Moors began to adopt and accept the alien, vague, idol god worship systems of Inquisitions from Europe, the Nicenio Constantinopolitan Creed, gosh, those are tongue twisters for me. I'm still getting it. I'm, I'm going to get there. They, the Moors, began to fall quickly into disorder, naivety, division, self hatred, ignorance, and poverty. Many who converted to the Christian Christum and adopted the practice of denying a consequent relationship to their own blood and forefathers have been referred to by Christian conquerors and inquisitions as Moraspos, being Moors in denial. Those same so-called Moriscos are today referred to as Negroes, Blacks, and Colors. There are many volumes, there are so many volumes of text to study. That is true. So much stuff to study. But we do it. We don't stop. Study, study, study. There are so many volumes of text to study and to examine about the Inquisition and the Inquisitionist that no single book or writ could ever do the subject matter justice. Their demonic deeds, their philosophies, and their effects were so encompassing and destructive that no single writer and historian could ever do the subject matter justice. Neither can the human family ever be fairly compensated for the evils prepared perpetrated against the living and the unborn by the hands of the minds of such monsters of darkness and their helpers. One of the most successful psychic attacks ever devised and perpetrated against humanity and civilized world was false, malicious, vile, atrocious, and banal act of attaching the name Jesus to the Nicenio Constantinio Creed this deception was devised to effectively give fictional public sanction to Roman Christ Christendom, Christendom, solidifying it as legitimate to truth during the Byzantine era. The Nicene Creed was actually authorized by the great Roman Empire Constantine. Constantine. Emperor Constantine Flavius Valerius Aurelius Constantinus, AD 280, question mark, hyphen 337, and sometimes referred to as history as the Constantine the Great. He was born of a Gothic tribe at the land area known as Moesia, which is geographically located in what is now called Bulgaria and Serbia. The Nicene Constantinopolitan Creed. The Nicene Constantinopolitan Creed is its pseudo-religious priests, their assigned and ordained leaders, and other clubism type persons have taken for themselves, quote, unquote, world titles of authority, more often than not. These persons have projected asinine and arrogant explanations as to what their exclusive and specialized versions of God want and desires for everyone else. This is a practice diversion which is forwarded in order for them to justify the many unresolved social injustices. Of course, there is always monetary price included. With these self-righteous deity, title persons are rarely put to stern or substantive questioning. Even a child would recognize many of their pompous, pacifying, divertive, and yet empty proclamations as being not, more, not much more than neatly packaged royal maggot dung. 
those of us who know a little about truth and world history, ancient scripts and about the worldwide inquisition and pseudo religion are not engaged in na na naivety and easily see through the force. We being Aboriginal to the land and having been made conscious have a knowledge about the veiled secrets and truth about the occupation of the Western Hemisphere and thus why women have been minimized within throughout occupied North American society. The precepts of suppressing the Asiatic African woman emanates from the deviant, anti-matriarchal and pseudo-religious foreign inquisition customs which have been rooted within North America social order by the Union State Society's members. The Union State Society is organ, organ nationally abbreviated as the U.S. democracy, body politic, which is a contemporary founded body of corporations feigning as legitimate government in North America. Any open conversations or discussions which allude to positive light about women and ancient matriarchy has been and is one of the social taboo subjects which are shunned on a major scale at most all social religious and po political levels the fact remains in light of such abbreviate excuse me in light of such aberrations the north america and the true natural people inhabitants therefore have been held under alien crusade colonial european dominion for the last few centuries Thus, the advent of the social union states, patriarchal, occupational colonism, and its colorable U.S. government policies. By Roman Papal, canon rules of law, and the history, the true history about ancient world civilization, science, astrology, cosmology, and women, was and is suppressed by the pretentious imposters. Their oppression policies are embodied and reflected within the colored and fixed black code. I'm gonna do a video on black codes too. Inquisition insights. It becomes pertinent at this time to relate to a few points in world history concerning the Inquisition. This will give the reader some insight to, into the modern day politics which are often misrepresentative as racism and has unidentifiable characteristics unique to a twisted slave culture as one bred in North America. Demos and democracy. Why is it that the Europeans who now occupy North America and control the seats of government constantly chant the phrase, our democracy, at every opportunity when addressing the public? This political phrase implies white supremacy, exclusively in feudal military powers, the interjecting of and of the chanting of the world. Democracy has been mystic mystically instructed to the masses and invoked by the demos politicians hovering over the seats of government and thus the uncertain political power in North America. The psychosis is practiced in order to imprint the foreign Greek word demo. Upon the minds and misgoverned natural people, democracy is a political cold world or password used by the Roman European colonists who are occupying the land which is not their own. Boop. To spoil their social, political, military activities and covert operations over the North American, North America territories and natural peoples. Note that demo claims are made under feigned claim of unspecified vague and so-called American national citizenship. This popularized demo chant was and is invoked for the mass mental grooming to endue the acceptance of the displa displacement of the original organic republic form of government democracy demos uncovered and exposed is a hip hip hypocritical excuse me and deceitful political subversion code method for roman political rulership in the extreme west this little studied this little studied and misrepresented political system was formed to economically displace the natural people and to place them outside of the sacred, excuse me, of their secure protection and immunities of organized constitutional government. This allows and sets the stage for the demos to steal the legitimate seats of the republic's government. The, demo 
the democracy, excuse me, chant is done in order for subverting anti-constitutional political parties to dominate the administrative law powers and colorable rule. Constitutional pol political parties to dominate, excuse me, where am I? To rule, excuse me. With limited examination of organic law or with little or no civil contention coming from a non-thinking, non-reading, and pacified populace. Democracy is derived from the old Greek words demos and demi, often personified, which refers to the people or commons of an ancient Greek state. Hence, the person, the personified political body. Ooh, that was chemtrail. Stamp chemtrails, man. Democracy is derived from the old Greek word demos and deme, often personified, which refers to the people or commons of ancient Greek state. Hence, the personified political body politic of occupying forces of European crusaders and inquisitions in association and through enslavement and deception, conquering and occupying the Western Hemisphere. And again, that was Woman and the Ancient Matriarchy by the Grand Sheik. Shout out to Taj Tariq Bey. And yeah, free baby Ashe. This was actually a really great read. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, Islam, peace and power, and free baby Ashe. Peace.